Now that we are all done with lunch, we're going to work on a new topic today about time. Time is very important to all of us. Knowing and understanding time helps us to structure our day and make sure that we can get done all of the things that we like to do. Can anybody tell me what time do you normally eat breakfast? 7 a.m. That's right. That's when I eat breakfast too. So you notice that we eat at 7 a.m. or in the morning. Now, when do we go to recess? After lunch, that's very good. So we go in the afternoon and normally we go at two o'clock. Anybody play soccer? What time do you normally have soccer? After school, absolutely. And we say that that's in the evening. So we would probably go to soccer practice around seven o'clock. And we do that after school and after recess and after breakfast. So you can see understanding time helps us to know when the things we need to do get done. But you need tools for that, everyone. And there's lots of tools that we have that can help us tell what time it is. A long time ago, we might have looked at the sun to see where it was in the sky. And that could help us know if it was morning or if it was noon or evening or night when we couldn't see the sun at all. After that, people started using something called a sundial, which used the shadows from the sun to help us tell, tell us what time it is. And now we like to use a clock. You can see my clock right here I drew for us. It's got a big face and it's got 12 numbers on it. And these numbers tell us the hour of time. So let's do this together. We have 12 o'clock, one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock, Eight o'clock, nine o'clock, ten o'clock, eleven o'clock, and back again to twelve. This clock is missing something though. It doesn't look like the one that we have over our door here in our classroom. What is it missing? Hands. Absolutely. Every clock has two hands on it. The first hand is our big hand and it points all the way out. And our big hand is also called the hour hand, and it tells us what hour it is. Now the big hand goes very slowly around the clock. In fact, it only rotates or goes around twice in an entire day. There's one more hand though, and that is our small hand or minute hand. You notice it's smaller than the hour hand because minutes are smaller than hours. Our minute hand goes much faster than the hour hand does because it counts the minutes in the day. It actually goes around the clock or rotates 24 times in one day. That hand works a lot. Today though, we're going to talk about how to tell time to the hour. So everybody, let's get out the pieces to our clocks that we were working on earlier. You have your hour hand and your minute hand, your fastener and your clock face. And let's put those together. So connect your hour and your minute hand and put them in the center. Let's play with our clock a little bit. When we move that hour hand, just like this, and it points at a number, that tells us what hour it is. And just like our clock up here, we count that by saying the number and then o'clock. 
So we have 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, and back to 12. Now, don't forget that the big hand or the hour hand goes and rotates around the base of the clock twice in a day, but the minute hand goes around 24 times. So now that we've got our clocks and we know how to move that hour hand, let's get with our partners and we're going to work on our assignment. Today, we're going to work on match the time. And with match the time, we have times written down the middle and clock faces on both sides. What I want you to do is read the time and then find the clock that matches. And we can do the first one together. So with your partner and your clocks, read the time. It says three o'clock. Let's take our face and let's see what three o'clock looks like. We have one o'clock, two o'clock, and three o'clock. That is what three o'clock looks like on our clock. If we look at our, home, or at our assignment, we can see that this one matches the face of our clock. So we take our pen, and we draw a line to three o'clock. Now that we've done this together, I know that you can finish this on your own. I will be coming around, and if you have any questions at all, I'm here to answer them. You guys did a great job with your match the time assignment. I'm really proud of everyone. You did a great job matching the times to the face of the clock. So tonight, we're gonna practice a little more and we have two pieces of homework. The first piece of homework that I want you to do is to work on your Be On Time worksheet. And with our Be On Time, I want you to look at the clock face and you're going to write the time in the lines. You can use the clock that you just made if that helps by matching your clock face and counting the time until you have the same one. The other project that I want you to do is go on a scavenger hunt for me. I would like it if you would go all the way through your house and make a list on the back of your paper of every clock you find in your home. You might want to look in your kitchen, your bedroom, maybe even on your TV. And tomorrow, when we learn more about time, we'll talk about all the places that you found a clock.